Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we will learn how to connect ASP.NET Core application with Escaping Server. So let's start. So first we will create a new project. So I'll click on this create a new project. Here we will select ASP.NET Core Web App and click next. I'll name the application as DB Demo and now I'll click next. Here uncheck configure for HTTPS. Uncheck this and click create to create the project. So now you can see here in the solution explorer that DB demo application is created. First we will connect to our database. So for that we will go to this server explorer. If it is not showing up for you, so you can go to this view. Here you can have this server explorer when you click on it so this window will open so we will connect on this as you can see microsoft is cable server is selected here if you have any other option here so you can change it from here and select microsoft is cable server and click ok now here it asks for the server name as we have installed it on our local computer so i'll name this local host now when i click on this select or enter a database name so if i click this so it will load all the databases in our local host so i'll select this test db and i'll click ok so now you can see here that the connection is created so if i expand this so it will show us this table tab so i'll expand this and you can see the employee table inside this so if i right click on this and show table data so it will show us all the data in the table so now you can see here that we have these six records inside this table which has id name father name address and designation so we will retrieve this and show it in an html table so as we connect it to this so i'll close this i'll close this as well now i'll come to his pages and you can see here this index.cs html file so we will show a table inside this now if i run right now this application so you can see here it is running in this browser and we have our application name here and this home page and this privacy page this is the home page and now if i click on this privacy so this is the privacy page so we will show a table down here on this home page and we will show all the data from that table inside this html table so now i'll close this now our home page is index.c is html now if i expand this so we have index.chtml.cs file which is the code file for this if i open this code file so you can see that we have this uh, on get method so inside this on get method we will connect to our database and get the data and then we will show it in our index.html page so to connect to scaville server in asp.net core so we need a library scaville client so for that i'll right click on this uh, project and go to manage new get packages now here you can see this is uninstalled so we will click this browse and now here we will search for scaville client this one now here you can see two versions of scaville client microsoft.data.scaville client and system.data.scaville client so we need this system.data.scaville client so select this and install this now here accept now you can see a green tick with this system.scaville client so it means it is installed successfully close this page so first we will create our connection string so for that i'll use string con string equals double quotes and semicolon now inside this double quotes we will put our connection string from here we can get our connection string as already we connected to our database so right click on this and properties now here you can see connection string i'll select this control a this and control c this i'll control v at here now our connection string is created so now we will create the connection so for that here i will use using sql connection con equals new sql connection and now here i'll pass the con string which is our connection string and now here i will use curly braces now we will open the connection so con dot open semicolon and now we will use sql command but before creating sql command we need the query string query equals and here i will use select static from employee and now i will put semicolon at the end i'll create a scaville command so using a scaville command cmd equals new a scaville command here i will pass in the query as well as the connection so i'll use query comma con i'll use curly braces at the end so now we will create an scaville data reader so scaville data reader reader 
topic was cmd execute reader i'll put semicolon at the end so it is showing an error because we have used an execute reader so if i remove this end so the error is gone so it get all the data and store it in this reader now we will read it from this reader and we will put in a list so first we will create a new class down here i'll use public class and i'll name this data model and now i'll use curly braces so as we have these six columns and our table we will retrieve only these five i do not need this or we will retrieve all of them but i will show only these four columns i'll use a public and id semicolon public string name semicolon public string uh, f name semicolon public string address semicolon and then public string and then designation semicolon all these are created i will go to the top and create the list of type data model so now if i come here i'll create here inside this class public list data model of data model list equals new list of data model and now i'll put semicolon at the end i'll go down to our on get method and now here under this reader we will use while loop reader dot read and now i'll put curly braces here now we will read each record and save it in the list so now here we will create the object of our model class so i'll use data model m equals new new data model and now i'll put this and semicolon we will use m dot id equals reader reader dot get end and i'll pass in here the id column name this inside double quote is actually the column name of the table similarly i'll create another one m dot name equals reader dot get string use here name semicolon now i'll copy this one Control C this Control V a few times. Now I'll name I change this to F name and the column name also to F name and I will change this to address and this to address as well and this to designation and this to designation as well. Now if all these columns are showing error, so you go to top and here use this using system dot data namespace. So it will stop showing the error. Now we will add this to our list. So I'll use a list dot add and and here i'll use m and now i'll put semicolon so now here the code is completed so now we will go to our design file i'll click on index.html file and i will remove this from here now i'll use here a br down here i'll paste the code of html table that i have created i'll change this address to designation this table has these four heads first name last name address and designation and this is the body of the table in this body we will show our data so for that i will use here a for loop i'll use add for each here i'll use for item and we will access that list through model class so i'll use model dot list and now i'll use curly braces here now i'll copy this row from here and paste it inside this for loop now i'll change this from th to td this one as well and the last one as well now i'll remove this use at the rate item dot name and then for the second one item dot f name then address and then designation our code is complete we will run this application and we will check if it is working so if i run this so now you can see here that it has retrieved all the data and shown in this table but this table is not looking good so i'll uh, minimize this i'll stop the application and i'll go to this www root and to css and to site.css and now i'll go down and here i will create a table class so i'll use table and now i'll use curly braces and i'll use board and um, solid now I'll put semicolon now I'll control s this now I'll go to the index dot html and I'll go to table tag and here I'll use class and table and now if I run this so now it is looking awesome so I think that's all for today I hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you